Welcome to the Carpet Bag Workshop by Sue Mitchell. Sue is a traveling DAG instructor and Doctor of Doll Making educator from Douglasville, Georgia. She teaches all aspects of porcelain doll making in her home studio, Sue's Doll Studio, and in other locations around the world. Sue is also the sales room manager for DAG conventions. The carpet bag is a fabric traveling bag ranging in size from a small purse to a large duffel bag. Originally made of carpet or an oriental rug, carpet bags were popular in the U.S. and Europe from about 1840 to 1880. They are still made to this day, typically as a woman's decorative purse or a carry-all tote, but they are no longer made of old carpets. The carpet baggers of the Reconstruction era following the American Civil War were given this name for the type of luggage which they carried. Here is your supply list for making the project on your own. Please note that there are several fabric options for making the carpet bag. And also, the pattern can be adjusted to change the size of the carpet bag so that it is in scale with any size doll. In your kit, you have the materials for making the carpet bag and you have a pattern. We suggest that you keep the pattern handy so that you can refer to it and look at the markings on the pattern pieces as you go. Starting with the lining, with right sides together, sew the lower edge of the side pieces, which is piece number two on the pattern, to the bottom of the carpet bag, which is number one on the pattern, matching the marks at B. Clip the seam allowance of the carpet bag piece to the marks at B. Step two, with right sides together, stitch the side seams from B to A. Clip the corners a little bit for easy turning. Step three, repeat steps one and two for the outer fabric and clip the corners. Do not turn to the right side yet. Step four, place a small amount of glue on one side of the foam core board piece, which is number three on the pattern. Center the board on the bottom of the carpet bag on the wrong side. Turn the carpet bag right side out. Then place a little glue on the top side of the board and insert the lining, which is wrong side out at this point. Press the lining onto the glued board. Step five, fold the seam allowance of the top edges of the fabric and lining at each side, this is the sides only, to the wrong side. Slip stitch the folded edges together. To reduce the bulk, we're not folding the edges of the front and back to the wrong side, we're simply whip stitching them together. The raw edges will be covered later with leather. Step six, make a pleat in both side pieces with the pleats to the inside as shown in the photo. Stitch the pleats in place tightly at the top. Step seven, there are two small leather strips with a small hole in each end. These are the handles or piece number four on your pattern. Place a bead of glue lengthwise down the middle of each, leaving about 3 8 inch of each end unglued. Fold the long sides to the center on the wrong side and let the glue dry. Step 8. Insert brads through the holes of the handle and then through the holes in the leather carpet bag top pieces. This is pattern piece 5 on your pattern. Do not open the brads yet. Step nine, place a bead of glue on the wrong side of one long side of the leather strip, which now has the handles attached. Center this along the top of one side of the carpet bag as shown in the photo, and push the brads through the fabric, both layers of fabric in the carpet bag. Open the brads on the inside and press the leather to the fabric until the glue holds. Step 10, glue the other side of the leather strip to the inside of the carpet bag. Step 11, repeat steps nine through 10 for the other large strip of leather. Step 12, find the center of the top of the carpet bag. Lay the leather strap, which is piece number six on the pattern, over the center top with the bag closed. Mark where the bead closure will go and stitch the bead in place. 
Do not sew the bead too tightly to the fabric. There must be some space in order for the leather strap to close over it. Step 13. Place the hole of the strap over the bead and mark the placement of the other end of the strap when the bag is closed. Step 14. Glue the other end of the strap to the leather on the opposite side of the bag. We hope you will enjoy making this carpet bag and will be inspired to make more of them.